hi you guys welcome back to my channel in this video i have a really cool project that i want to show you guys that i am actually working on with a client of mine uh, as you can see we are looking at this huge wall that she has in her home and so today we are going to try to make a feature wall so you guys hang tight and let me show you some cool tricks along the way So to tackle this feature wall, I just needed a few uh, simple tools. I have some poplar project wood. I'm using frog tape and then of course a brad nailer. Uh, we hadn't decided exactly the design that we wanted at this point. So I'm going to show you some few cool ways to play around until you get what you like. Uh, so what you see here is my miter saw. I have set it to a 45 degree angle uh, and so I am going to start by cutting some 45 degree uh, pieces off of the poplar wood and this is going to help me play on the wall. So I did cut 45 degree angle cuts on both ends of each piece of poplar wood uh, and I didn't use any particular direction I just at least wanted them all to have angled cuts and you'll see why in a moment. So once I had a few pieces of project board cut, I did go ahead and start playing around with some designs on the wall. And as you can see, I'm using the frog tape and that's what's temporarily holding these pieces of wood to the wall. Uh, I love to use frog tape because it's super gentle on the wall uh, and it allows me to move some of these pieces around to kind of get some designs that we were playing around with and it doesn't add any extra damage to the wall. So for this feature wall we did know that we wanted to play with angles. Uh, it would match the decor and the rest of her home. So those 45 degree angle cuts allowed me to do that as well as to play with some of the uh, wall a little bit. Uh, as you can see here, this was one concept that we kind of temporarily played with. Uh, and then we also tried a second one. Uh, this was the second concept. Uh, again, we were trying to find a way to play with angles and fill up the wall. Uh, stay tuned because at the end of this video, you will get to see what we decided upon. What we ultimately decided to do was to install a chair rail on this wall, which that's what you see me doing here now. Uh, we felt it would be the perfect way to not only break up the wall into sections, but it would help kind of divine, uh, I'm sorry, define some of the spaces on her wall. So again, as you can see, I am using that frog tape to help hold this chair rail in place while I install it, you guys. Um, because again, I did work this project on my own. This frog tape came in super handy uh, for installing as second and third hands for me. So I did install the first half of the chair rail as you can see there uh, and as you can see this piece in particular was too short to stretch the whole wall so I am going to show you again another handy tip so that you can uh, extend materials. So 
So again, 45 degree angle cuts are going to be your best friend for extending material. Uh, so as you can see, I adjusted my miter saw. Uh, I adjusted the chop saw portion to go at a 45 degree angle cut. Uh, and as you can see, I am going to first cut the 45 degree angle cut and then I'm going to then cut off any excess from the chair rail and we'll get to see how it is installed to, to extend the chair rail already on the wall. So now once my cuts have been made, I am just sliding this piece into place and I am going to use a leveler uh, just to ensure that it is leveled with the piece that I've already installed on the wall. And now from this angle, you can now see that the chair rail looks like one long piece. You can't even tell that we had to Frankenstein this together. So now you can tell the pattern that we finally decided to go with. Again, I used the frog tape to hold the pieces of project board into place. And again, you guys, those 45 degree angle cuts that I made prior really helped to extend out the pieces of this feature as well. Uh, so I highly recommend it if you are looking to do a feature wall yourself. Once I had my template pretty much mapped out for the course uh, that we were doing, it was time to install. So that's where you see me using my little leveler again, just to make sure these are 45 degree angles. And then I use my brow brat nailer to install it in place. You guys, let me just tell you the finished product came out beautifully. Uh, as you can see here, uh, to the left of the screen is just a cute reel. Uh, so if you follow my Instagram, then this is familiar with you. Uh, it is just showing how I painted. Uh, my client did decide to make this feature wall a shade or two darker than the rest of her home. It really just added a pop of color to her hallway and you guys let me tell you this was the best decision on her part uh, so there I am just painting it and as you can see you guys the finished product came out beautifully uh, the decision to add that chair rail really made a unique statement in her home So you guys, here is the completely finished product of her feature wall. You guys, I was so in love. The decision to add the chair rail really set off a different statement and a unique statement. And the grid lines that we decided on were absolutely beautiful. Uh, she was so pleased with this design. So I am so excited 
Uh, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned some new cool tricks if you're attempting to do a feature wall in your own home. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and that you're subscribed to my channel. You guys stay blessed and I will see you in the next video.